this about the TikTok Congress hearing. This is, a... is a very real phenomenon. It occurs when you witness something that is so grossly turbo cringe uh -huh. that your body has a fight or flight response and fills you with shame from just having watched Prince. it, even though you weren't directly involved in the situation. I think the number one cause of secondhand hand embarrassment is bad stand up comedy. So, you know, like, what's yeah. the deal with airline food? Salt shakers, you fill them up and then where does it all go? Like when a, okay. a stand-up set bombs, I feel like most people get embarrassed for the person up there. But today, I got so much secondhand embarrassment, I feel like I got a year's worth of shame in one afternoon mm -hmm. thanks to the TikTok congressional hearing that happened. This was an it's absolute bad. mockery of the entire country. It was absolutely foul. It was painful to watch. So I'd like to show you just a few of the clips. Okay. The whole thing was about five and a half hours long, and I can't imagine anyone can. Five and a half hours. Puking. It's it's brutal. It has everything you're probably imagining: tech illiteracy and horrible questions out the wazoo, all wrapped up into one five-hour endurance test of the human patience. In a nutshell, there's been a lot of controversy about TikTok and TikTok bans like banning on government phones, which I do agree with. I don't think there's any argument to be made that a fucking government or someone in power person should have TikTok on their phone just because of potential security risks associated with it. And this has expanded into a lot of other big debates around it. I am not a personal fan of the platform in general. I don't really use it that often. Plus, I think it's been extremely detrimental to the actual mental mm. health and attention span of human beings. Oh, that's more now, I don't know if you go on TikTok often. If you go on TikTok and it's someone just talking about something or a clip of something, there is always Subway Surfers, Rocket League, <laughs> or GTA playing underneath it in order to keep your attention. Because people it's need insane. such constant stimulation and jingling keys. If there's not videos. like three separate videos of like bars of soap getting cut for satisfying videos or Rocket League freestyling while the core video itself is playing, they click off. That shit is just so pathetic. It's actual brain rot behavior. I am very curious to see in 10 years if that's going to be the commonplace for everything in the world like if movies now are going to be like playing a movie but then also underneath it another separate <laughs> movie making sure that your attention is captured like it's so baffling just how, so how far the work. attention span of humans is degrading where they can't watch a fucking 30 second video without three other videos also playing to keep their attention but with all of that being said i still don't want to see it nationally banned or any shit like that and the reason is okay. very simple, because I like a world where people have the freedom to choose what they do with their whole life, pretty much. So if you want to download TikTok, you should, even in spite of potential security risks to your privacy or whatever, that should entirely be on the individual's choice. Mm, Does the entertainment the platform yeah. offer outweigh the potential security risks to your data being sold or whatever? That's up to the person to decide. That's my ideal scenario where people have the freedom to make their own fucking choices there when it comes to some shit like this i've made it clear i'm no fan of tiktok i am i am also very confident that there is a huge level of like spyware with tiktok associated with it more than the ceo lets on but holy shit this congressional hearing or whatever has done nothing but make the CEO of TikTok look like a patient saint, <laughs> like an actual Zen master to Same. deal with the unhinged lunacy and out of touch questions those fucking fossils were throwing his way. It blew oh, my sense. mind. Yes. It blew my fucking mind. Her. Oh my God. She's so dumb. She kept asking him questions, but instead of letting him answer, she just say, yes, yes, yes. And then she, she pulled up a random shit post on TikTok like you see this threat. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, so she pulled this up and she's like, look, look at this. Outrageous. It's not a viral post or anything, by the way. Dude, who asked about TikTok using Wi-Fi? I don't remember, but I think they were trying to make a bigger point. And I, this is this is really giving a very charitable <laughs> bone to the person who asked the question. I think what they were getting at with asking about Wi-Fi is he was trying to state that if one device is connected to a network, 
it can access everything on that network, which it can, but he couldn't ask the question because I don't think he really fully understood mm -hmm. it. But again, I'm no, I'm doing a very charitable service trying to even make some sense out of that awful question. This accomplished nothing except making their CEO look better. Full heartedly believe there is a lot more fishy shit at play on the back end of TikTok, but they did not even get close to the bottom of it because they couldn't even wrap their head around what an app on your phone is. It's tragic. Mr. Zhang Fuping is the editor in chief. He's not. My colleague, Representative. Fer Just doesn't even let him say it uh, or talk. Minutes ago, exposed that TikTok and ByteDance share legal teams. You confirmed this, correct? Our general counsel is yes. uh, an American yes no? uh, lawyer, yes. of Microsoft. Also, my colleague she asked a question and answered it. Your Fucking worthless. Dance currently nice. can access user data. Yes. Let's, uh, we have to be yes. more specific. Um, yes. After Project yes. Texas, no. I'm not asking after Project Texas, I'm asking now. Yes. yes. Some users yes. are public data, Congresswoman, which so means everybody that. can search What's interesting is uh, that you have used the word transparency over a half a dozen speak. times. So, uh, doesn't seem to understand that when you ask a question, you should wait for an answer instead of filling your own blanks here. So, her asking about the data that they're accessing, he talks about the public data, which is something every app in the world accesses, even that computer she's on right What's there, the I bet she's logged in on Twitter. Mm -hmm. That uses all of your fucking data too. I bet she has a Facebook account. That not only accesses all of your data, it sells it too. All of these apps do that. What they needed to get to the bottom of is more in line with like what is TikTok specifically doing with that data and how it relates to like the CCP and shit like that. But instead, they're so hung up on like public data. You're accessing public profiles. That's creepy. That's something one of the guys said. It's so fucking crazy. And for some reason, they don't even let him answer. So they get no, no answers. They get nothing out of this. It is fucking mm -hmm. worthless. It group, is a complete yeah. waste of time. They said they were watching children's public profiles, which was creepy. Everything's at watching every public profile ever. That's the whole point of being public. It gets scanned in these systems. That's not exclusive to TikTok. Mm. Twitter does it. it. Facebook does it. YouTube does it. Everything does it. Literally everything. We threw away our privacy long, long ago. TikTok is just a little more nefarious, potentially, with what it uses that data for, at least based on like reports from a year or two ago. Not meant to be informational or useful. It's meant to grandstand for campaigns. It's actually tame compared to everything else. And well, I guess maybe it's still so stupid though, because this doesn't do anything to further anyone's agenda here. Everyone that asked him questions today mm -hmm. looks like a bumbling thing. fucking buffoon, a genuine moron. Like all, I feel like all this does is shake people's confidence in their elected representatives here. They couldn't answer a, or they couldn't ask a good question. Were they like this with Mark Zuckerberg? Yes. Yes, they were. It was just as bad with Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg sat in the same hot seat as this guy did, and he got bombarded with just as stupid questions. If I remember correctly, one of the Facebook questions was, um, do I need internet to connect to Facebook or something like that? We are, like, we, we are not getting anything out of this garbage. What do you think their approach should be on this topic? Hand it off to people that understand it. Clearly... This woman doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. At all. She has no clue what's going on right there. And she clearly doesn't even want to get answers because she's too busy answering herself. So get someone who gets it. Have them ask the questions and come up with the questions to begin with. Delegate. This is clearly not her strong suit. She's not even old! That you can't just keep using the excuse of they're all fucking geriatric. She is not old. She is willfully stupid and still tries to act like an authority on the topic. She pulled up a fucking 400 view shit post to try and use it as a point that completely fell flat and then doesn't even let the guy answer her questions because she's too busy answering herself. Now, while she may have come to this hoot nanny unprepared and made me ashamed to be a Floridian, she did mention something that I think is important to talk about briefly, which is Project Texas. Project Texas is something TikTok did to appease the U.S. In a quick nutshell, Project Texas is U.S. user data being sent to Oracle, which is on American soil, as opposed to going anywhere else. So all of the U.S. user data will now be on American soil, and Oracle kind of oversees the whole thing. On a device in one pocket, but download it on your device in the other doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. 
I believe Congress and DOD should address the continued use of TikTok on military installations as well as any use that depicts U.S. military operations. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? <laughs> okay. Maybe if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I, I'm sorry, I may not understand the... So if I have a TikTok app... <laughs> and... Again, this is being very charitable. I think the point he was trying to make is when it accesses the Wi-Fi, it has access to all of your devices that are within that network, which every device that accesses your Wi-Fi does. That is factual. That is true. Which is actually something that happened to Kaya. He downloaded a tor... Uh, a burglar broke in and downloaded a torrent, okay. and it came with a virus, which infected multiple devices that were on his network. It is known that when you are on a Wi-Fi network, it connects to more than just the single thing that's connected to it. It's everything there. So I think his point was, can it access my other devices? Which is why he's talking about like downloading on a device next to me. Shit like that. But the way he asked that question is so bafflingly stupid that even the TikTok CEO is like, mm -hmm. fucking obviously, it's going to access your Wi-Fi if you turn it on, right? Like, it's, it's just craziness. So have someone who understands what the fuck they're talking about be the one to ask these questions. I think you gave him too much credit. He probably thinks Wi-Fi is a radio. Again, it, it's a very charitable interpretation of what I think he could okay. have been trying to say. I could be way off and giving way too much credit there. I don't know. For the sake of clarity, I actually think that guy's follow-up question kind of hints more at what I was saying. Even though it's still poorly asked and his follow-up question is still poorly phrased, I do think with a high level of confidence that the thing he was trying to get at is, is TikTok going to be accessing all kinds of things on my network outside of just the one device that I'm using right now to connect to it? I think is what he really wanted to get at, but he didn't know how to get to that topic mm. effectively. So he ended up making a, a very silly question out of the whole thing, which really sums up the entire hearing. Just silly questions that didn't do anything at all. They didn't get any answers. They didn't get to the bottom of any real questions people have. It was just a genuine mm. fucking yeah, circus, just an guess. absolute clown show. That's really about it. See ya. Ini saya terpikir tu kesan semua untuk ini soal diskusi masa tipet pros, ambil tu depan awak sedikit.